Probably more Pyrex than I've ever seen in my entire life. How much is your car heart? Uh, I think he... Bundle deal? Make me a bundle deal if I get a bunch of them? Peach trees as far as the eye can see. Long, quiet country roads. Charming South Carolina towns. And 44 miles of yard sales? That's right, this is the Peachtree 23. This miles long yard sale mega event follows Highway 23 as it meanders 44 miles from Batesburg, Leesville, South Carolina, all the way down to the tiny town of Moda. And there are literally hundreds of sales along the way. To a reseller like me, it appears at first glance to be like some kind of reseller heaven. I mean, all these yard sales lined up for 44 miles. Should be amazing, right? Well, my family and I actually did this sale on a Friday and that wasn't necessarily the case. Now, I did find some amazing and highly profitable items and you should definitely stick around to see it. It might surprise you. Some of it actually surprised me. So I'm certainly not complaining, but the ratio of sales that I went to versus the sales that I actually bought stuff from skewed heavily in the I left empty handed a lot direction. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't the number of sales that was the problem. We went to tons of them. The thing is, most of the folks selling stuff were dealers and resellers themselves. And most of them were selling antiques and collectibles. There was probably more Pyrex than I've ever seen in my entire life. Cool stuff and highly resellable, but not from a professional dealer. Their pricing just doesn't leave a lot of meat on the bone. Speaking of pricing, that was kind of an issue too. I think a lot of the sellers thought that since they had a big audience, a large crowd of shoppers, that they could charge more for the items. And honestly, if they could get those prices, kudos to them. Their job is not to make me money. But some of the prices just seemed a little much for used stuff. Yeah? That's what I thought it was. Yeah. How much are you asking for it? How much are you asking for it? Caroline, how much is the xylophone? 120. 120? Yeah. How much are you asking on the satellite? How much are you asking on the satellite? 150. What are your crops? 25. How much is your car heart? I even had one lady try and charge me $10 more for a pair of boots than she was going to charge my friend. How much are your boots? Um, I got 35 on these. What you want for these? 25. 25. Now like I said, I'm definitely not complaining. This is just how these miles long yard sales are. You just have to dig and find the gems. So that's what we did. My family and I went out, we had an adventure. We found some pretty cool stuff, and some of it was even more surprising and better than I thought it was, even when I bought it. Check it out. How much are your golf clubs? Which one, bro? This putter and this set right here. Uh, this set is 30 bucks. Okay. Uh, I'll take it. It hurts. It hurts. I'll take $5 for the putter. $5 for the putter. Would you do 30 for both of them? Uh, yeah. 30 bucks spent on the golf clubs, and this is two brands that you should definitely know. This is an Odyssey 2 Ball XDF putter. Should go for around 60 bucks. I've got it listed a little bit higher because it's the only 34 inch that I could find on eBay. And then the Titleist irons are a set of 962B irons. Unfortunately, they are a mixed set. The three through five are oversized. The other ones are regular. Doesn't hurt the value a whole lot, actually. I still think I can get like $140 for them. So 30 and 200, not bad for one stop.
Tell me about your boots again. You said these three? Yeah. These were 10? Yes, sir. You 30 for those four? Bundle deal? Why not? All right. So I definitely don't know a whole lot about boots, but these were in really good condition. They felt like quality boots and four pair for 30 bucks, 750 a piece. I felt like that was a no brainer. And I did actually recognize one of the brands. I recognized the Dan Post brand. That's what both of these are. These are black lizard boots, brown ostrich boots, and these have actually sold for 84.50 already. Also I picked up these two pair. This is a pair of ostrich leg skin boots made by Longhorn. And then this is a pair of Cayman boots made by a brand called Mercedes. And they're definitely vintage. And they have actually already sold as well. Sold for 120 bucks. I may have sold them too cheap because I think they're going to a boot reseller. But either way, pretty good profit. So he also had this other pair of boots sitting there. And he wanted $30 for them. And I didn't want to pay that much for one pair of boots when I just got the other ones for $7.50. But I decided to look them up when I was putting the other boots in the car. And I was pleasantly surprised. Actually came back and bought them, offered him 20 for them, and he took it. These are Chippewa motorcycle boots. They've got steel toes, like 17 inches tall, nice boots, really good condition. Like I said, pay $20 for them, and I've got them listed for over 200 and the comps support it. They're size 7, so they may take a while to sell, but either way, a good buy for sure. Surprising too. So you guys remember I said, I left empty handed a lot. Well, yeah, I wasn't lying. These are the only two sales that we actually bought stuff from the resale during the whole 44 miles of the Peachtree 23. Now, I'm not complaining because I've got all this stuff listed and it totals up over $800. And when I deduct fees and cost and shipping and that kind of thing, I'm still looking at around a $500 profit from these two sales. So that's not a bad way to spend a Friday morning. And we thought we were done for sure. I mean, we had gone the whole route, came halfway back, stopped for lunch. So at this point, it's like 12, 15, 12, 30, went to a Goodwill, ran into this cool dude. And then we actually avoided the main road to avoid all the yard sale traffic on the way home and ran into a sign, a sign that said yard sale. We almost didn't stop because it was so late in the day, but I'm glad we did because this happened. So we just found this sale off the beaten path, not on the main route. You see what I see? I don't know how good they are, but it's a bunch of golf clubs and an LLB and boat and tote. How you doing? I saw that. Yeah, we'll get it. Come on. We'll see how much it is at least. How much are your golf clubs? Uh, you feel like five bucks a piece. Okay. Yeah. Make me a bundle deal if I get a bunch of them. <laughs> All right, I got 20 golf clubs in this bag right here. What can we, what can we do? <laughs> the only thing bad is they're going to need, they need new grips. New grips, yeah. Uh, how about 60 bucks? 60? Yeah. That's good for me. That's good for you? Yeah. Okay. After one o'clock and all these golf clubs are still there, I couldn't believe it. I mean, there's nothing like super rare or extremely valuable, but there's some good money here. I'll show you what I got, but I even asked the guy. Have you all been busy today? Yeah, actually, I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm good. Right well, first thing this morning. Sure. So yeah, they had been busy and there's obviously other resellers in the area. Now I was not on the main road. I was a couple of blocks off. But still, I figured somebody would have passed by and snatched those up. But either way, let me show you what I got. So 60 bucks spent on 20 clubs. And honestly, most of them are just going to bring 20 or $30 a piece. But that adds up really quick. Like all these wedges and Napa style putters over here, they're just going to bring 20 or 30 bucks. No real nice, super fancy clubs there. 
A couple of fairway woods that should sell pretty quick. Nine wood, this Jesse Ortiz, Bobby Jones Club. These things always sell really quick. So if you ever see that coin in the middle there, probably go ahead and pick it up. These tailor-made drivers, $20 or $30 a piece, maybe a little bit more. But these Adams Idea hybrids will actually sell as a set for probably over 100 So that was definitely a good buy. But the bell of the ball are these Nike Ignite irons. If you don't know, Nike does not make golf clubs anymore. And this is actually a complete set. I couldn't believe it when I got it home. I didn't look there. Complete set of Nike Ignite irons. They typically go 140, 150, somewhere in there. I've actually got mine listed a little higher because it's a pretty deep set for through pitch and wedge. Regular flex, graphite shaft. They do need new grips, but that really doesn't affect the value very much. So overall, I think that was an awesome score, especially at 115 in the afternoon. I almost forgot, we actually got the L.L. Bean Boat and Tote bag too. I can't find it right now. I think maybe my wife adopted it, I'm not sure. But the bigger those things are, the more colorful they are, and the older they are, the more money they go for. They can go for some crazy money. But that's actually gonna do it for the Peachtree 23. I know it was only a few sales, but maybe you learned a few tips, like avoid the dealers, hit up the back roads, and most of all, have fun. So this video was actually done, complete, ready to be uploaded, and then I realized that maybe you guys want another perspective on this same sale. So I've linked some down below. First up is Wyatt from Rewilded Reselling. He actually went on Friday and Saturday. You can check that out down below. Next up is Josh, Harry Tornado. He actually went on Saturday. Looks like he actually killed it, did really well. And then also Steve-O from Steve-O Resales. I'll link his video down below. He actually went on the same day I did. So you can kind of see all four of our different perspectives of this same sale. Kind of neat. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.